Georges de la Tour, a master of 17th century Baroque painting, is renowned for his exceptional use of light and shadow, a technique known as chiaroscuro. Often compared to Caravaggio, Latour carved out a unique niche in art history with his distinctive style. His paintings, often illuminated by candlelight, convey a profound sense of calm and mystery. Despite a relatively small body of work, Latour is seen by many as a precursor to Cubism because of his move towards minimalist and abstract compositions. Latour's impact on Baroque art is most notable in his use of a single light source, typically a candle, to create scenes of otherworldly peace. This approach not only brought a dramatic quality to everyday moments, but also introduced a modernist touch to 17th century French art. His work evolved to simplify forms to near geometric shapes, adding a timeless quality to his canvases. Although sometimes referred to as a realist for his depictions of common life, Latour's work transcends simple naturalism. He achieved a reflective quality, avoiding the merely picturesque for a deeper, more Caravaggio-like realism. His paintings often feature few figures set against vague or absent backgrounds, encouraging a sense of quiet contemplation. Latour's oeuvre can be divided into daylight and nocturnal scenes. His nighttime paintings are celebrated for their subtle use of light and muted colours, while his daylight scenes, like The Cheat with the Ace of Diamonds and The Fortune Teller, are admired for their clear lighting and detailed execution. Even in these early works, Latour's preference for simplicity and his evolving style are evident. This painting is a captivating representation of Georges de Latour's earlier work, capturing a tense interaction where an elderly man appears compelled to settle a tax or debt under the watchful eyes of a group of imposing figures. The atmosphere is thick with unease, highlighted by the group's threatening stance toward the solitary taxpayer, a scene reminiscent of 16th century Netherlandish art that often explored the burdensome theme of taxation. Latour's skill in composing this complex scene is undeniable. The canvas teems with life, each character adopting poses that are both awkward and intriguing. The stark contrasts between light and shadow add depth to the silent drama, underlining Latour's ability to weave tension and emotion through his calculated arrangement of figures and their expressions. The painting's perspective, from a slightly elevated point of view, serves to intensify the scene, drawing viewers into the moment's heart. Despite being an early piece, the painting exhibits key features of Latour's signature style. A thoughtful exploration of traditional themes with a keen eye for detail that eschews any unnecessary ornamentation. The focus is squarely on the essential the expressiveness of the characters, and the scene's charged atmosphere. Latour's approach is not to innovate in subject matter, but to delve into the depth of presentation, creating art that engages the viewer in a meaningful contemplative dialogue. The painting vividly showcases Georges de Latour's exceptional talent in depicting human emotion and narrative early in his career. It presents an intimate scene of two older individuals absorbed in the simple act of eating peas from terracotta bowls. Their melancholic expressions and direct gaze create a profound connection with the viewer, heightening the painting's emotional intensity. The painting's somber atmosphere is amplified by its Baroque influences, dramatic chiaroscuro and a minimalist backdrop contribute to its poignant depiction of hunger and poverty. There is ambiguity in how viewers are meant to perceive the figures, whether with pity, judgment, or aesthetic appreciation. Latour grants his subjects a noble quality, encouraging the audience to see beyond their immediate struggles to their inherent resilience and worth. 
This painting captivates with its rich narrative and intricate details. It portrays a young, elegantly dressed man engaged in a deceitful exchange with an elderly woman who offers him a coin, possibly as part of a tale she narrates. Surrounding him, figures who may be in cahoots with the woman subtly pickpocket him. The scene's ambiguous setting leaves much to the viewer's imagination, raising questions about the characters' identities and their circumstances. Are they in a brothel, wanderers, or characters from a theatrical piece? The painting's tension comes alive through the characters' furtive glances, the expressiveness of their hands, and the dramatic contrast between light and shadow. Latour's attention to detail is evident in the vivid patterns of the costumes. The artwork portrays its characters with profound humanity. The young man appears innocent and unsuspecting, while the thieves are depicted with a gravity that suggests the weight of their choices in the 17th century. The Penetent Magdalene by Georges de Latour is an evocative portrayal rich in 17th century religious symbolism reflecting the era's deep engagement with spiritual themes. This artwork captures Mary Magdalene in a moment of serene contemplation, emblematic of her journey from a life of sin to one of repentance. Each element in the composition is laden with symbolic significance. The mirror represents the vanity Magdalene has renounced. The skull, a stark memento mori, and the candle, possibly, a symbol of the enlightenment and divine guidance she now seeks. See how the dark setting amplifies the play of light and shadow, metaphorically contrasting the soul's darkness with the illuminating presence of Christ suggested by the candle's light. The reflection of the candlelight in the mirror is especially poignant, creating a visual metaphor for Magdalene's dual existence, her past indulgences and her current spiritual pursuit. The skull, placed prominently on her lap, underscores the theme of mortality and the ephemeral nature of earthly pleasures, inviting viewers to reflect alongside Magdalene on life's deeper truths. Through The Penetent Magdalene, Latour masterfully explores themes of redemption and spiritual awakening. The painting stands as a testament to the Baroque period's fascination with the dynamic interplay of light and dark, both literally and metaphorically. This image is Georges de Latour's Joseph the Carpenter, a work that engages the viewer in a scene of deep symbolic significance. Latour chooses to depict a moment of quiet industry in the life of the young Jesus and Saint Joseph, portraying an intimate interaction between father and son. The painting is imbued with religious symbolism that enriches its narrative depth and visual impact. Joseph, the central figure, is captured working wood with an auger, the shape of which subtly echoes the fall of the cross, foreshadowing the crucifixion. The arrangement of the wood on the floor further reinforces this premonition. The young Jesus assists by holding a candle that casts divine light upon his face, embodying the title, Light of the World. This allegory is emphasized by the candlelight filtering through Jesus' hand, which, despite the known translucency of flesh, is depicted with an ethereal glow rather than a realistic reddish hue. This suggests Latour's intention to prioritize symbolic interpretation over naturalistic representation. Latour's use of tenebrism, a style marked by stark contrasts between light and dark, creates an atmosphere of solemnity and contemplation. This technique serves more than an aesthetic purpose. It reinforces the spiritual themes at the heart of the painting. Jesus' patient demeanor reflects not just filial respect, but also an acceptance of his sacrificial fate. Joseph the Carpenter 
is a prime example of how Latour uses a single strong light source to illuminate both the divine and the earthly. In this work, and others like The Education of the Virgin and The Penitent Magdalene, light plays a central role, both physically and metaphorically, enhancing the spiritual resonance of the scenes depicted. This image exemplifies Georges de Latour's mastery in the Baroque style, showcasing his sophisticated chiaroscuro and tenebrism. The painting features a chore boy in a plum-colored alb, with candlelight softly enhancing the texture of his delicate color. De Latour's composition skillfully obscures the candle with the hymn book the boy holds, revealing only the flame's tip and the candle's base. This concealment focuses attention on the boy's absorbed expression and his task. The boy, with his serene features, represents Latour's typical characters, endowed with a sense of tranquility. The painting highlights Latour's ability to create a mysterious atmosphere, where candlelight dictates visibility, interplaying light and shadow, and imbuing the scene with contemplative stillness. The painting is Latour's interpretation of the nativity, a subject richly explored in the history of art, but presented here with a distinct intimacy and subtlety that sets it apart from grander, more theatrical renditions. The scene captures the holy family and a modest assembly of onlookers in a moment of quiet adoration and reflection. The Christ child, lying at the center, becomes a source of divine light, illuminating the composition both physically and spiritually. Mary, depicted in prayerful reverence, and Joseph, whose hands are raised, either to direct light or in a gesture of praise, flank the newborn. Each embodies a personal response to the miraculous event. The shepherds and a peasant girl complete the gathering, with their adoring gazes cast toward the child thus forming a circle of communal devotion. There is a remarkable sense of restraint and an avoidance of dramatic flourish, favoring realism and keen observation instead. This can be seen in the details, such as the realistically swaddled child, which steer the work away from the sensational and towards a more grounded portrayal. Latour's painting radiates a warmth and personal connection to the sacred event bringing the viewer closer to the intimacy of the moment. His figures almost appear silhouetted, with their outlines and forms emphasized, granting them an independence from their surroundings. This technique not only enhances the narrative focus, but also directs attention to the human expressions and interactions at the heart of the scene, conveying its emotional depth. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Your support helps me continue creating more content like this. Thank you.